Why is it with Justin? Why is he always late? Likes to make an entrance. Hello, Leatherbridge! We are activated. Thank you, fan. We are gonna be awesome. Despite already losing half an hour rehearsal time. I had the most unbelievable weird dream last night. Or was it just you on stage at the O2, naked? Thousands of screaming groupies. That, my friends, is not a dream. That is inevitability. You sure this agent's coming? Yeah, I already told you he's well keen. Even though it's just the freshest ball? This, Matthew, this is our showcase. Talking of cases, there's still some stuff to bring in from the van. And it's Matt. Oh, look, Matthew's got the ump again. Stop needling him. He's petrified. He just won't admit it. You don't like please, babe. No smoking today. Screw your voice. Come on. Take care. I don't think he was capable of human speech. Just a blank stare. Poor kid. Oh, what was wrong with him? If I translated the grunting right, banging head, churning stomach feels like dying, otherwise known as hangover. Oh, it's the freshest week. It counts your lucky stars. You're not here tomorrow. It, um, it's the freshest ball tonight. My Jack's been banging on about it for weeks. Half-price drinks. Not back more than my share at uni. No one drinks like med students. Oh, well, I think my wild nights used to end up with me vomiting in the back of someone's car. Some of these students just look like little lost, helpless animals. You almost want to hug them. Well, I wouldn't. And you're not a vet. Yeah, I know. And it's valuable surgery time wasted, isn't it? It is. Right. Back to reality. Ah, it's Mrs. Stewart and her bad back. Do you want me to send her straight through? And... Yeah. Okay. Daytime TV. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, just give me a couple of minutes and I'll go and get dressed, okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so uh, we open on me to you. Now let's kick off with happy ending. We always finish on that. This gig could be our ticket to a support gig on a bigger tour. So? So, so let's grab them by the throat, really go for it. We will, but the set needs to build. Keely? How long are we going to faff about for? Clock's ticking, Justin. Let's just run through a few numbers, warm up. Whatever. Happy ending, yeah? Sorry, <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. What? Hang on just a sec. No rush! This is a joke. Yeah, everything's fine. Nothing to worry about. Just putting pressure on everybody, though. You're not. Just yourself. Anyway, enough about work, are we? Fine. No, really, really I am. It's just, um... I don't know, I just feel so tired all the time. Heston and Zara reckon it was flu. Mm, probably just a bit run down. Anyway, after a bit of a rest, I'm sure I should come bouncing back. You don't seem too convinced. Oh, don't I? All right, look, could you just finish making the tea before you started on the Spanish Inquisition? OK. I warn you, I have ways of making you talk. Yeah, OK. I'll call you. I don't know yet. I'll call you. Look, I've got to go. I said I'll call you, OK? We've only put the room for a couple of hours. I know. Well, who's he talking to? If he's going to flake out on us. He's not, OK? Adam could step in. He already knows a couple of Will the tracks. Stop. Same. 
Everything okay? Fine. Right, let's roll. In your own time, yeah? Hello? Where are you going? Thanks for that, Justin. Good job, mate, yeah? Will you get off his back? He's such a bloody prima donna. Keely. Want me to phone Adam now? So you've got aching limbs and you feel... What, like I said, tired. Plus headaches. Anything else? What about fever, night sweats? No, sleeping all right. It's probably just flu. Mm, maybe. I mean, resting is the right thing to do, yeah. Well, if your body's stressed and run down, then it'll tell you what it needs. All right. What about your weight? Any sudden loss? <laughs> I wish. There are no other symptoms? Nope, nothing at all. You sure? Yeah. Take care. Is that another hangover, Victim? She was sweating 100% proof. We could probably refuse them entry. There could be a fire hazard. Tequila slammer race last night, apparently, holding her own against the boys. Oh, boys. Why do they always have to turn everything into a flipping competition? And they're such bad losers. See, I, I don't know about your other half, but my Rob, it's just always been the same. He's terrible. Oh, sorry, that's me assuming that you're... Oh, yeah. I'm not married. I've, uh, I've always liked to keep my options open. Oh, right. Boys and girls. I'm not exclusive. Right, oh, lovely. That's, um, so you're, um... Yep. Any port in a storm doubles your chances. <laughs> oh, you had me go in there, eh? Oh, the truth's too boring. Heterosexual, single, no kids. Oh, it's footloose and fancy free. Yeah, well, I've just come out of a mess of a relationship, so I'm looking to keep things simple. Hello. What can I do for you? I need to see a doctor. Well, you've come to the right place. Walk this way. Do you think feeling ill caused a mix-up with Chloe? I don't know. I mean, I've been going over and over it and... and, and <sighs> imagining what could have happened. Yeah, but don't give yourself a hard time. Chloe's fine. The key thing here is to work out why you're forgetting things. <laughs> oh, I wish I knew. Have you forgotten other things? How would I remember? Fair point. But it is really scary knowing that somehow you just, just haven't been there. Don't oh. worry, don't worry. Don't worry. Got it. I don't know what's wrong with me. Do you think that may be one of the symptoms? Dropping things. I mean, I've never thought of you as accident prone. Uh, oh, no. Are you feeling lightheaded? I'm fine. What about your appetite? 
Um, I don't know. And what did you have for breakfast? Oh, um, I don't know. Cereal, toast. Well, there are no dishes in the sink. Well, maybe I washed them up, Jimmy. I mean, I'm not incapable. Okay, you rest up. I'm no master chef. But oh, no, no, listen, you don't I have can to... make something edible. Well, your glands aren't swollen, your breathing's fine. You seem to be in pretty good shape. My throat's really tight. OK, well, I could take a blood sample to see if there's a possible viral cause, but... But what? The results will take a couple of days. No way. I have to know what's wrong with me. I can't go on stage like this. I could hazard a diagnosis, Justin, but it would just be a guess. Two words. Stage fright? You think I'm scared? It's a perfectly natural reaction. I've never got nervous before a gig. You said this was a very important one. Under pressure, the body can shut down. There are things you can do to help. <sighs> like what? Well, relaxation, visualisation exercises. Not my thing. Don't dismiss them until you... What about some kind of medication? I don't know, a beta blocker or something? It might help just to dissipate the build-up of tension. OK, I'll try that. <laughs> I can't prescribe until I'm exactly sure what the problem is. Well, you just said stage fright. No, I said it might be. You know, forget it. Yeah. This is a waste of time. I'm trying to help you. Yeah, well, you haven't, OK? Yeah, I know I was due in, Karen, I know. Well, it's hard to say. But I think the best thing you can do is to um, cancel the both and see if I can fit them in later in the week. Thank you, Karen. You're a star. Yep. Yep, I will. OK, bye. Come on, Justin. Just pick up. This is nice, thank you. Mm. Ruth's got me onto soup at lunchtime. Power food. Well, there must be something in it because she's never short of energy. Yeah, well, we've all been enlisted into a office efficiency boot camp this week. She's on a mission. <laughs> she does like to organise. <laughs> it's definitely unleashed her in a control freak. I'm just, I'm just joking. Mm. She's whipped us all into shape. Office is running like clockwork. Elaine settling in okay? Mm. Stuck to water. Despite Ruth's new regime. This doesn't know the difference yet. <laughs> want some more? Oh, no. No, I'm fine, thanks. Well, in that case, I'm fire. I'm starving. So, it's just a classic case of bottling it. Maybe. He seems scared. I just don't know what of. Well, it sounds like it's troubling you. Uh, I just feel I should have been a bit more persistent. Justin Kent, I've got a mobile number. I could give him a bell, try and persuade him to come back here. Tried. He's not picking up. Well, my Jack knows him. Really? I could give him a call. I don't know. I'm worried about patient confidentiality. <laughs> Believe it or not, I can do subtle. I'm sure. It's just... Oh, come on. I mean, it's... If it puts your mind at rest, leave it to me. OK. I've been calling you. Sorry, my battery's flat. What's going on? Nothing. Where have you been? Walking. I just need to clear my head. And? Fine. I promise. And tonight? You gonna be okay? Yeah, of course. I just got a bit claustrophobic in there, you know. Matt's doing my head in. He always does. I'm fine, honest. All right. Well, he'll be waiting. I just need to get something to eat. I'm starving. OK, well, I'll see if we can use the rehearsal room a bit longer. You sure you're OK? All right. See you in the room then, yeah? Hello. Hey, listen, are you busy? Yeah, very. What are you doing? Mom, I'm a student. What do you think I'm doing? I need a favour. Did I mention I was busy? You know your mate Justin is in the band? 
What about him? Can you get a message to him for me? Why? Well, never mind that. It's just can you? I'm in the middle of stuff. Me too. Mum! Jack! What's it worth? Getting me off your back. Look, listen, I would not ask if it wasn't important. All right. Great. Can you ask him to pop into campus surgery, please, as soon as he can? OK. So is this, like, serious? No, no it's, it's nothing. Just just do it. You want me to go and find him now? Oh, well, Jack, thank you. You're a star. I'll talk to you later. <sighs> Just tell Matt you got a bit stressed out. He'll be cool about it once he knows. He never listens to me. He's just wound up about tonight. Come on. Justin. How's it going? Yeah. OK. Jack, listen, we're running late with rehearsals. Can this wait? Not really. So what do you think is wrong with me? Well, it's too soon to make a definite diagnosis. Try. OK, um, based on what we know so far, I guess I'll be looking at depression, maybe some sort of infection, or... Or what? Or maybe something menopause-related, but, I mean, they're only just possibilities. Well, what about the blood test? Well, like I said, to rule things out, they're just a precaution. Safe money's on flu. Nothing more, OK? You give me no cause to suspect anything else. You've told me all your symptoms. You have, haven't you? No, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. So is there anything else? No. Then, I guess it's most likely to be flu. Why didn't you tell me you'd been to the doctors? She said I was fine. Really? So why does she want you to go back in? I don't know. There must be a reason. <sighs> but fine. I'm coming with you this time. Wait here. I'm going to tell Matt. Wait. Okay, and he popped in because I was hungry. Just kidding. And stop worrying, okay? Whatever it is, we'll get to the bottom of it for you. We'll sort it. I rang you, yeah? Yeah. Get some rest. Bye. See ya. Justin, what are you doing? You're screwing this up for all of us, you know. Leave me alone, Matt. You owe us an explanation, at least. You're not running off again. Not till you tell us what's going on. Come on! That's it. Forget it. It's your loss. I'm ringing Adam. You're out. Mrs. Kent? No, Justin's not here right now. Do you want me to get him to call you? No. Well, he hasn't told me anything. Why, what? Well, I'm here. You weren't telling me everything earlier. What, you want my life story? I'd like to help you this time. I don't need help. It's not the way it seemed earlier. It is now. Why don't you try telling me what it is that's upsetting you? There's nothing to talk about. Not anymore. It sounds very final. Yeah. Well, it is. Hi. Hello. Hi. I'm looking for my boyfriend, Justin Kent. Oh, 
right here. Just take a seat. And I... Hey, hang on. You can't just... Nothing else you want to tell me. Justin, your mum just rang me. Why didn't you tell me? I'm so sorry. I was gonna... <laughs> oh, Justin, I'm so sorry. Adam! What? No, 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 no. F forget Justin, man. It's, it... Look, this gig could be make or break for us. No, 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 Adam, listen. Listen, Adam. How long had your dad been ill? His mum said it was a heart attack. Booze. It's a miracle he made it this far. When did you last see him? My 16th birthday. He got blind drunk. Uh, then he lost it. He hit my mum. I stepped in. He grabbed me by the throat. Would have killed me, but mum got him off me. That's when I realised it might be a good time to leave home. And you've never told anyone? I didn't see the point. Feelings just don't disappear because you haven't confronted them. Thanks for the therapy tip, but I think it's a bit late for that now, don't you? No. Your past is a part of who you are. You can't hide from it. I'm not hiding from anything. Justin, your dad died this morning. You never said a word. You can't keep bottling up everything inside you. So what do you want? You want me to open up? Tell you how I'm feeling? All right. Okay, I'm feeling relieved. That's it. Done. Just in wait. What for? Cured now, aren't I? I'm sorry. Don't be. If it helps, at some point I can arrange counselling. I'll ask him, but... I know. He needs to find his own way of dealing with this. Yeah, I think so. Thanks. OK. <sighs> Keely, where the hell are you? The surgery? Why? You're joking. Look, he's here now. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll speak to you later, yeah? That was Keely. Where do you get off telling me I'm out of my own band? You walked away? Yeah, from you. I'm not a mind reader. Rubbish, mate. You had Adam's number on speed dial. Thanks for the vote of confidence, buddy. Great timing. Well, no one's irreplaceable. I am. I forgot. The whole world revolves around you. In the band, yeah, it does. How massive is your ego? I'm lead singer. And that gives you what? Ultimate power over the rest of us? Yeah. You've lost a plot, mate. You want to settle this? Fine. Yeah, bring it on. All right, the booking agent called me to confirm. And? Well, you really think they want to see some crap cover version of me? Or the drummer? Here's your big chance. Call him, tell him I'm out of the band. Now nah, you're right. So everything does revolve around me then, doesn't it? So are you in or are you out? Hello, darling. What? Oh, for heaven's sake, don't take any notice of Patrick. No, no, I'm fine. Honestly, it's, it's just this flipping flu thing, you know. 
No, honestly, oh, come on, there's no need for that. No, really. Anyway, I've, I've had Joe round all day. Cook me a lovely lunch. Yeah. No, really, I do. I feel a lot better already. Yeah, I do, honestly. Anyway, Joe's just a warrior, you know. He's... No, he's going to do some blood tests, but it's just routine. Hmm. Anyway, listen, how's Marlin? Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs>